Welcome to Soup Up Recipes. Today we're making Dongbo Rou. This is a very famous Hangzhou dish, which was invented by Su Dongbo. Rou means meat, so this dish is named after the person who created it. Everybody in China knows about the history of this dish. If you're interested, check the description. Unlike other Chinese braised pork recipes that needs a lot of complicated ingredients, this is a very easy dish. First, we need a nice piece of pork. Make sure you can see its layers. That will ensure your pork finish it with a juicy, tender texture. We need to bunch it to remove the bad smell. Put it into the cold water and bring it to a boil. Boil it for two to three minutes. Put it under running water to cool down the temperature, and your hands are able to handle it. Cut it into 1.8 inch squares. Use rope to tie it like this. This is totally optional. I do that just to keep the square shape, and so it's easy to take out later. After simmering for a long time, the pork usually turns into a weird shape. And it is so tender that you can barely pick it up. I am going to use a rice cooker to make this. This rice cooker is really small. It is not good for making this, but it's all I have. Whatever you have should work. First, add a lot of spring onions. Just place it in. Try to cover the whole bottom like that. Then put ten slices of ginger and eight cloves of garlic on the top of it. All these are not only for the fragrance, but also prevents the pork from burning on the bottom. Place your pork in, skin down. Then adding some sugar. And some soy sauce, and two cups of Shaoxing wine. Don't be freaked out with that amount of wine. This is like the soul of Dongpo Rou. It gives that signature aroma and rich taste. By the time it finishes, all the alcohol will evaporate. And you will be left with a juicy, tender meat. Red yeast rice is the last ingredient. I like to use it as a food coloring because it's natural. If you have never heard of this, look it up. I'm sure you will find lots of information. We just need two tablespoons of it. Soak it in one third cup of water for ten minutes. Press it down with a spoon. You can feel the rice is soft, and you are able to crush it to get more color out of the rice. You can see now the color is dark red. Then drain it. We use the liquid to add color. Don't worry. You can skip it or substitute with one teaspoon of dark soy sauce. It doesn't affect the taste; just the color will be different. If you use dark soy sauce, then the color will be dark brown. If you use red yeast rice, then it will be dark red, which I think it looks better. Pour the sauce in and also add some water. We already add two cups of Shaoxing wine, so you don't need a lot; just a little bit like that. You are free to add more water while it's simmering, though. If you use a stove top or another tool, the water will evaporate differently. You don't want to burn it, so keep an eye on the liquid level. The whole technique behind this dish is to bring it to a boil and let it simmer for hours. As I said before, my rice cooker is really bad. It only has two settings: rice and congee. But even this works. 
I just put it on the rice setting and let it cook for two hours. If you got a nice rice cooker, which has fancy options like braising, pick that one. You can also do this with a regular pot. Just bring it to a boil, turn the heat to low, stew it for two to three hours. If you have a pressure cooker, you will only need 30 minutes. I'm sure a slow cooker will work good too, but I don't have one so I can't tell you how long it takes. You have to figure that out. Whatever you use, please understand that our goal is let it simmer until the meat is tender. So different tools require different cooking time. Use my video to help you know what it should look like. Let's check it out. Open it. Oh my god, smells gorgeous. Now the rope is really helpful. You can easily pick it up, turn it over and transfer it into another container without breaking it. There should be about half cup of sauce left. Spoon out all the fat and pour the sauce over the pork. Seriously, this looks so good. Look at that beautiful shine. Let me show you how tender it is. You can literally scoop it with a spoon. <laughs> That's incredible. Mm. It just melts right after you put it in your mouth. I hope you give this a try soon and check the description for all the ingredient amounts and the steps. If you like Chinese food, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I want to see you next time. I have video every Wednesday and Friday.